This is the Storm Shadow Cruise Missile, a British-French joint program to produce a low observable missile. Don't be fooled by its innocent looks as it could penetrate around 4 to 5 meters or 16 feet of concrete. It does this by storing two explosives, a precursor at the front and a follow-through bomb at the back. We will also be diving into the interior of the missile and the systems associated with it. Not to forget, we will be explaining the basic step-by-step -step process of how it might work in a battle-tested environment. So stay tuned and don't miss a beat. Storm Shadow missiles can be launched from the Dassault Rafale, the Eurofighter Typhoon, and most recently the MiG-29 or the Su-27 jets, as shown here in the animations. It is a low-observable air-launch cruise missile. Interestingly, the development of the Storm Shadow missile is also known as Scalp EG in France. This missile has a length of 5.2 meters or 17 feet, while it has a breadth of 630 millimeters or 25 inches, but opening its wingspan measures around 3 meters or 9 feet 8 inches. It weights around 450 kilograms or 900 pounds. Comparing this to a person will help you understand its size. Even better, let's compare this to the American cruise missile or the Russian missile. As you see, it looks a lot smaller than its counterparts. Also not to forget, it looks a lot similar to the small diameter bomb when it opens its wing, animated in our recent video. Let's take a look at the interiors and parts of the missile. At the front is the sensor cover, just beside it is the standoff fuse. Sandwiched between it is the infrared sensor and IMU, or in full form, the inertial measurement unit, which helps calculate the IMU work in part by detecting changes in pitch, roll, and yaw. Here lies the weapon activating switch or sensor. Just like the Javelin missile, it has a two weapons payload. This is the precursor bomb, and just behind it is the follow through bomb, which we will be explaining further in the videos ahead. Moving to the back, the cylinder-looking object is the accumulator, which is a storage device in a hydraulic circuit to draw quick energy when required. This is the air intake extension. It runs all the way towards this engine fitted with this microturbo TRI-60. It is a small, expendable turbojet engine developed by France. Let's move to the back of the missile. These are the two dorsal fins. Just beside it is the horizontal control surfaces, Moving below them are the ventral fins. But how do cruise missiles fly without traditional wings? Unlike standard aircraft, cruise missiles do not have advanced wings for lift and control. Instead, they rely on advanced propulsion systems, aerodynamic design, and sophisticated guidance systems to navigate and maintain stable flight. Here's a simplified explanation of how cruise missiles fly without advanced wings. Propulsion. Cruise missiles use jet engines, ramjet engines, or rocket motors for propulsion. These engines generate thrust to propel the missile through the air. Control surfaces. Although cruise missiles lack traditional wings, they have control surfaces, such as fins and flaps. These surfaces can adjust their positions during flight to control the missile's direction, stabilize its flight, and make course corrections. This system uses an IR seeker, a thermal homing head, and a terrain contour matching. Calculates the necessary adjustments to maintain the desired trajectory. By combining these elements, cruise missiles can achieve stable and controlled flight over long distances without the need for conventional wings. They rely on aerodynamic principles, propulsion systems, and advanced guidance technologies to reach their targets accurately. For now, we will look at the steps-by-steps -steps format of how this works. Step 1. Aircraft releases the missile. Step 2. After a few seconds, the missile opens its two wings. Step 3. It first uses inertial and GPS for guidance at the first stage of the missile. Step 4. Drops to low cruising altitude and identifies its position using GPS just like the animation shown here. As you can see, it flies below the radar and close to the hills and ground. Step 5. At the final stage, a thermal homing head and a terrain contour matching are used to guide the missiles. This is how it works. It uses the IR sensor imaging infrared seeker to track and process images, helping it glide to its target. Step 6. It climbs to a higher altitude, 
This helps the command and control to even monitor the target in the dark using a two-way data link. For the final maneuver, the nose cone is jettisoned to allow a high-resolution thermographic camera or infrared homing to observe the target area. The missile then tries to locate its target based on its preloaded data information. If all is approved, it then dives to destroy the target. Let's look at how its weapon system works. As stated, the Storm Shadow or Scout missile have two warheads, a precursor at the front, and the second one is the follow-through bomb. Let's consider this simple bunker as a target which is composed of two layers of soil and concrete. Step 1. Contact sensor detects a target. Step 2. Armor penetrating precursor blasts jet of hot metal through up to 4 to 5 meters or 16 feet of concrete. Step 3. Follow through bomb separates from the missile and penetrates the structure. Step 4. If the fuse is set in delay mode, it will explode within the bunker, maximizing the damage inside it. Simplifying it in one frame. Missile detaches from aircraft. Drops to very low altitude and uses GPS and digital terrain matching technology to hug land contours staying below. At the final stage, a thermal homing head and a terrain contour matching are used to strike the target. Let's look at the pros and cons of this cruise missile. Precision and accuracy. The Storm Shadow missile has a high degree of accuracy due to its advanced guidance system, which includes inertial navigation, GPS, and terrain reference matching. Range. The missile has an impressive range of over 250 kilometers or 155 miles, allowing it to strike targets from a safe distance. This extended range allows it to engage targets deep inside enemy territory. High lethality. The Storm Shadow missile is equipped with a highly effective warhead, typically a 450 kilogram or 1,000 pound. Let's look at the cons or disadvantages. As stated, this is a cruise missile, so its speed is very slow compared to a subsonic missile. It can also be destroyed by a simple anti-aircraft weapon. The size and weight of the Storm Shadow missile restrict its capacity on platforms. This limits the number of missiles that can be carried, potentially reducing the number of targets that can be engaged in a single mission. Response Time the Storm Shadow missile, like other cruise missiles, requires a certain amount of time to reach its target, rendering it useless if the target is mobile. We make original 3D animation from scratch with two people working on it full time. So please support us by subscribing to help us produce more videos just like this animation here.